he's having a video interview right now so he's actually just like right in his office right there doing the interview we're not gonna actually talk about like specifically which company he's talking with but the good news is that I'm feeling really relieved because I think for a really long time there was a lot of uncertainty when it came to Blake getting out of the military I think he was feeling a pretty unconfident um, with his abilities which I very much encouraged him. I told him that he wouldn't have to worry that as long as he put in a little bit of effort with job hunting I don't think he would have a problem getting a job pretty much anywhere and ever since he went to the job fair um, and started talking to all of these different companies I think he's starting to believe that himself because so far things are really looking good and if you're just joining us um, Blake is in the Air Force right now but he's planning on getting out it will be under a year at this point which is really crazy like that's insane he'll officially be out in November of next year of 2018 but he has enough leave saved up that he'll probably be able to get out around September or even a little bit earlier than that it's just kind of gonna depend on when things line up how things line up and the things that we're gonna have to go through in this next year. It's gonna be so insane. I just finished. How'd it go? What? Oh, my butt's so sweaty. I bet. Oh <laughs> yeah, he just went through and basically just asked me some questions. He told me kind of a lot about the company, like like the history of it, and he's been there. He's about to be 30 years. Dang. Yeah. And then asked me questions about like myself and what people would say about me if they were in a, screen, in a, in a, in a room without me in there. What would they say about me, things like that. Um, what did you say? I said hardworking in in so many words, uh, basically teaching of others and like mentoring and accountable. Yay! Yeah. Those are good words, yeah. babe. He, he, he had me explain integrity. I was like, oh, okay. Well, I do this every day. <laughs> Air Force. Another thing he, he said that seemed like a really great benefit and everything was, uh, so you know how the Air Force does like, you get $4,500 every fiscal year for for school they do unlimited funding oh <gasps> for school, school? Yeah. no way yeah that's amazing yeah. the only thing they ask is that they only pay for a's and b's whatever degree you get they ask that you stay there for at least another 24 months uh, but he said that if you lateral movements and uh, yeah I, I know movements everywhere vertical yeah vertical thank you um different programs and divisions he said all oh, that's viable if you want to do that basically that's so, cool. so like that i was like dang <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. Um, he's like, well, I'd like to have lunch with you sometime and show you around the place. I'm like, oh, sweet, that'd be cool. I'm yeah. so proud of you. Yeah, That's was, awesome. Yeah, he was really cool too. Oh, I see you got some uh, Christmas ornaments. Did you eat your Noel ornament? Because it's not there, and that looks an awful lot like you ate it and unraveled it. It's funny, usually she's really good about the ornaments, but um, it kind of looks like not so much today. And they knocked a couple bulbs down, that's great. Kitty, I think you must have helped with this. Somebody knocked down a ton of ornaments. Oh, really? Yeah, and she ate her Noel ornament. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I don't think that God. was a kitty. I don't think that was a kitty. She's like, well, it had my name on it, so. That's funny that she ate that one. I know. She didn't eat any of the others. It looks like she wasn't interested in the actual fluffy ones, but she ate the Noel ornament, which is so funny. Did you have like a wild party last night? You're, you have like a jewel spot where your tongue was hanging out. Turn the lights on. There we go. It still looks pretty. So, we just had this big long discussion, actually it really wasn't that big and long of a discussion, but Blake, <laughs> what do you think about Vlogmas? I think we're going to give it a try, see how it works out. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But we're probably going to do it kind of modified because here's the thing, we're both really, really busy <laughs> and if we vlogged every single day, I think it would be really boring because 90% of the time it would be like around the house of the same things. That's why we don't do daily vlogging just because it's, I feel like we would be so boring. Like, <laughs> I wish we would, would do a daily vlogging. That would be super fun, but like our lives are so boring right now. So we're going to do kind of like... A, an, a modified vlogmas and for those of you who don't know vlogmas is something that happens pretty much every year during this time of the year where people will vlog every single day until Christmas in the month of December. To make it a little less like pressurized we were thinking we would vlog every single day during the week 
Saturday we might do like a really short Q&A session so if you have questions for us you can just like write them in the comments down below and we might pick like three of them and then like answer your questions or just chat a little bit in like a more easygoing session I guess and then Sunday we might do like a one take or something like that or maybe even just take it off we're trying to debate we're, we're figuring it out so um, let us know if that's something you'd be interested in. Don't put like, don't hold us up to this like really high pedestal because it might not be perfect, uh, but we might give it a try. What's going on? Well, um, we knew this for a while. Now. Right. Yeah, I'm deploying and I'm going somewhere different this time, which is nice. And we've known for a while, we just haven't said anything. But today I finally started like the initial out processing for it, I guess. Yeah, like first steps Briefings kind of. and everything, yeah. So I got some appointments coming up. It'll be really straightforward. <laughs> oh, that's good. Literally, my <laughs> out processing sheet is one side of a piece of paper in big font. Uh, the other people who are going to the other place or to where I've been before, Afghanistan, their out processing is like six pages front and back. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. Gosh, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, but there's a lot more you gotta do for that. So. Right. If, if you guys have been watching for a while, you probably know the routine. We're, prob we're not gonna talk about like where he's going. We're not gonna talk about when he's going specifically and when this has happened in the past what we've ended up doing was that i will literally just stop recording things and like stop filming things without any heads up like a little ways like before he deploys and a little ways after he deploys um so if we like peace out for a little bit then that's probably what's going on and we're gonna have to figure out some kind of scheduling for vlogging and stuff but yeah he's gonna be gone for a little bit this one's gonna be a little bit longer too isn't it yeah it's gonna be a little bit different though um the place that he's going like i have the opportunity to go visit if i want to mm -hmm. which is kind of cool it's actually a really cool place <laughs> it costs you money though it's yeah like, it's not it's not like it's paid for that. yeah it's not like it's paid for or anything but um, that's a curly fry. Look at that curly Holy fry. That now the cat's out of the bag. Did I just say bag like your mom says bag? bag. bag. Yeah, she says bag like Minnesota. Probably. That's a thing from like Washington too. Yeah. Like people say bag from like Washington and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's happening, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, Blake is going to be deploying again. That's going to be a thing. Yay. Well, I think you're going to have to go out with though. the bang. Go out with a bang. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the, so that's the other side of it. Everybody knows that you're planning on getting out this next year. It's going to be a little insane this next year, timing-wise. My entire next year, basically, is already busy. It's already booked. Yep. I'm already booked on, like, everything. Yep, pretty much. It's it's going to be it's gonna be an experience. We're going to learn together. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So I think we're going to end the vlog here. Since we are doing a little bit of a modified Vlogmas this year, or at least trying to, um, feel free to leave any questions in the comments down below. And we can maybe do a little Q&A session tomorrow or a little chat session. I don't know, something. I'm thinking what we'll probably do is we'll take like maybe a like a couple, a handful of like the three or five something most thumbs up questions or topics in the comments down below to talk about. And then um, we'll just, I don't know, film it sometime tomorrow. And I think that's a pretty good way to do things. But if you guys have any other suggestions, feel free to leave those in the questions down below as well. And I'll probably be hanging out in the comments down below in this video, just answering any brief questions that you guys have for us or anything like that to do with the video. But yeah, I think we're gonna hop off. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you next time. Bye!